Hello, my beautiful, lovely people. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, you all. So um, I want to hop on here and bless you all with the morning devotion for today, which is, by the way, a good, um, it's a good message on today. Press forward. Press forward. Whatever you might be going through on today, just press. Press forward. And uh, that's something I had to do this morning. Um, when I get up this morning, I had to press forward. In spite of how I may be feeling in my body, um, I'm, I'm feeling my best. Um, I went to church yesterday. and um, But before I went to church yesterday, I wasn't feeling my best. I wasn't feeling my best. And I think it was something I ate. I'm like, I hope it ain't food poisoning again, but... Um, I wasn't feeling my best, but I still, like, I wasn't feeling my best, and I said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to press my way. I'm going to press my way to church. It's because my mom always said that when you don't feel your best, when you don't, that's when you need, really need to go to church. That's when you really need to go. And um, she told me that, I remember so many times when I was, as, as a little girl, as I was a young girl, growing up, and I had asthma real bad, and I know I might have shared this, um, I might, I know I might have shared this story, my testimony, me having asthma, but, um, and real bad. And so she was to tell me and I'm like, mom, I don't feel like going to church. And she said, that's when you really need to go. when You don't feel good. And so I thank God for a praying mother. They always taught me, you know, you just, even when you don't feel this pressure away. So I pressed my way to church yesterday and I went to church and I was sitting in service and usually normally I don't be like you know, like sleepy, you know, when I'm at church, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just up and lively, but yesterday I just felt so sleepy, I felt so sleepy, I felt so drained, and I'm like, the last time I remember feel, feeling this way, I'm like, I remember when I was working, and um, I had COVID, I didn't even know, I just kept saying I'm so tight and drained, but before I left out for church, I took the COVID test, and it, you know, I didn't have COVID, and so I'm like, I don't know, it, was, it might have been something that I ate. And so I went to church. When I went to church and then when I left on, on my way home, I just kept feeling tired. And then I got home. And so I told my girls, I'm like, I don't feel good. And so, you know, the Lord was just leading me. He was like, come to prayer. Like, come to prayer. So I came home and I just went in the, just laid down. I'm mean, getting his present and I was just praying and then, and he did, well, he did tell me, like, you know, what, what something, the food that I was eating, like, you shouldn't, don't eat that. You shouldn't eat it. And so then on top of that, I ate this cupcake and I shouldn't have ate that. And so I don't know if that made it worse. So, but right now I'm sitting here. This is what I got for breakfast, y'all. I got some apple, I got some apple and I got some tea. So I'm sipping on my tea and I'm eating my apple for breakfast. But I just want you all, this is the morning devotion for today, to press forward. And so I'm going to read it. Um, I'm going to turn this off. It seems like either when I'm on here doing the morning devotion or doing prayer, it's like it's always, you know how you get it's in, uh, interruption. Somebody texting you or calling you right before you finna do something. But I'm going to do the morning devotion. And so the scripture that goes with this is coming from Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. And you read, forget what lies behind and reach forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal. And the morning devotion read, do you think about your past, the mistake you made, the wrong done to you, or the good things you were, do or the good things you were able to accomplish it may seem harmless, but focusing on days gone by can hinder your faith. The Apostle Paul understood this well. He could have gotten caught up in the fact that he had persecuted the church and sent many believers to their death. The guilt could have eaten the guilt could have eaten him alive. Instead, he chose to embrace Christ's forgiveness. Then there were the people who had cur who had cursed beating and betraying him. Paul could have been bitten towards them. Instead, he chose to extend the grace that Jesus had shown him. Paul also could have gotten stuck on the glory days when he was, when he was, when he was an up and on, when he was an up and coming leader among the Pharisees. 
on the path to wealth and notorious, notorious, notorious. Instead, he counted it rubbish compared to knowing Jesus. Paul understood that when our gaze is to fix on the mistakes and justice and even the victory we, we aren't going to make, the progress God wants. So he pressed forward and made Christ his focus because that's the path to life at its best. Therefore, today, pick the path behind you where it belongs and watch Christ transform your future in ways you can't imagine. And there's a prayer that goes with this and it reads, Jesus, I press on and look forward and seek you. Amen. So, um, I just want you, um, beautiful, lovely people, as you want about your daily tasks to know that, um, to be encouraged, to be encouraged and, um, to keep pressing forward, keep pressing forward. Like the scripture says, I press, uh, I press forth towards the mark, the mark, press forth towards the mark of the goal. And so that's how we have to be. You have to keep moving. Just keep looking. For, don't look back. Don't look. Don't look back. You don't want to be like uh, Lot's wife. Like Lot's wife, she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. So you don't want to look back. You want to keep looking for. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep looking ahead of you. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on uh, what happened yesterday. Um, one of my, uh, one of my, uh, at my old church, this my pastor, he used to say, yesterday is history, today is a mystery. Yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone, and today is a mystery. And so, we want to keep moving forward. You want to keep moving forward and uh, be encouraged. Keep moving forward, be encouraged, no, ma no matter what it is that you may be um no matter what it is that you may be going through in in life, you know, just keep going. Say, you know what? Okay, I messed up yesterday. Tomorrow is going to be a new day. I remember when I used to work at the daycare center, and one of my co-teachers that I used to work with, she used to always say this: whenever it's a um, whenever we it's the end of the day and we get ready to leave, get ready to clock out, she used to always say. We're going to try it again tomorrow. She was always said, we're going to try it again tomorrow. Like today, we didn't end on a fresh start with the kids, with the students, with the kids. So tomorrow, we're going to try it again. Look, they're going to get it together tomorrow. She's always say that at the end of the day. She said, Johnson, we're going to do She said, Johnson, we're going to get it. We're going to try it again tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, tomorrow we're going to try it again. So I just want you to know, like, don't... Um, Whatever it is that you may be going through on today, you may be going through in life, and you might say, oh, man, I messed up. Whatever. Like, the devotion was saying, like, don't dwell on past mistakes. Don't um, dwell on past mistakes. Whatever that's happened in the past, ask God to help you heal. So, okay, I made some mistakes. Lord, I didn't make some right, I didn't make some, um, I didn't, um, make some right decision at that day and time or that year that month that week that day i didn't make the right choice i didn't make the right choice and that was the um that was the thing about uh this year like each year i pray and ask god lord give me a word for this year and so 2024 the year that he gave me is uh 2024 the year of making the right decision and so this year um I can live up to, I had to, I really had to make some right decisions in my life this year, 2024. And so as I'm getting prepared and praying and intimacy and asking God the word, you know, give me a word for 2025. He haven't given me a word yet, but when he do, I will share it with you all. But um, 20, you know, we really have to, you know, you just don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. You know, whatever happened, you know, say, you know what? Hey, I made some wrong decisions during that day and time. I made some wrong decisions, but this is 2024 leading to 2025. I'm, I'm expecting to, I'm expecting to do better. There's going to be some different, there's going to be some changes and you have to, and I always say this, mean what you say and say what you mean. You know, when you're writing out your goals or whatever for 2025, say what you mean and mean what you say, live up to those goals, live up to those goals that you write out for your, um, for your upcoming for the upcoming year 2025 and so i just want you all to be encouraged and to know that the joy the joy his joy god joy the joy of the lord is your strength the joy of the lord is your strength and to be encouraged 
And before I end this um morning devotion, I want to share something with you all that I'm planning to do because um I did for those of you who've been watching my channel, I did a series on um a while back in August. We did a series on healing scriptures, let's heal together. And you all loved it. I'm glad that it blesses you. Then not too long ago, I did a series on um singlehood, singlehood, and you all love that. <laughs> you love the series. And so something else that uh, I'm planning to work on doing that um I want to share with you all, and I think it's gonna be very, very beneficial. But um I want to share with y'all there's this book. My late um my late bishop passed away, his wife. She wrote a book. She wrote a book and she is an amazing, an amazing, phenomenal um woman of prayer, believing in um the power of prayer, teach you how to pray. And um I went one of her um she had one of her seminars. It was on Zoom one time and I went to it and I just love the way how she teaches you how, you know, she teaches you how to pray. And so they really helped me in um um in my journey, I'm, you know, walking in the Lord. It really helped me, you know, how to pray and discipline, you know, to discipline yourself. And so she wrote this book. Look, she wrote this book. She wrote this book and her name is um she wrote this book. Her name is um Jacqueline Jacqueline Bell. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's a picture on the back. Her name is Jacqueline Bell, and she wrote this book. And I believe you probably can purchase the book. And probably, um, it might be on Amazon. I'm not mistaken. It might be on Amazon. I purchased it on, um, she had this website, and I purchased it. But it might be on Amazon. But it's titled, The Principle of Prayer. The Principle of Prayer is teaches you how to, um, teaches you how to pray. Um, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of knowledge in here, a lot of knowledge in here, I'm teaching you how to pray, when to pray, um, why we, um, why we pray, and so it's a lot up in here, so what I want to do, since I did the series on, um, Let's Heal Together, and I did the series on singlehood, I want to do a series on, um, the principle of prayer, the principle of prayer, or, um, I might title it, um, How to Pray. And so I want to share with you some things that she wrote in this book. For those of you who are not able to get the book, I want to share with you some things on this book. So this is something that I'm working on, something that it just came to my mind um, yesterday. Not a couple of days ago, it came to my mind. And then I'm working on today. Um, hopefully, I can get it uploaded today. Working on the Bible study for this week. I have a, a message when I was studying my Sunday school lesson, um, God dropped, um, he dropped some in my spirit and told me to read it and I'm going to read it. And, um, I don't want to share with you, with you all right now, but I'm working on the new beginners Bible studies for this week so I can, uh, release it to you all this week. But, um, that's all I have for today. I pray that you all have a blessed day. It's your girl, Melissa. God bless.